Hi everyone, and welcome to part 3 of my 2019 Crossing Newfoundland by ATV video series. In this video, you're going to see our trip from Corner Brook to Cloudy Pond. We made several stops including Cox's Cove, Goose Arm, and Old Man's Pond before stopping at Cloudy Pond Outfitters for the night. You may remember hearing about Hurricane Dorian back in September of 2019. Well, unfortunately for us, Dorian decided to hit the west coast of Newfoundland on this day. We were pretty worried the night before because we were watching the news coverage on TV and it was hitting Nova Scotia hard and it was on its way to Newfoundland and expected to make landfall in our area the next morning. Dorian lost a lot of its power overnight on its way to Newfoundland. So the biggest problem that morning for us was finding a restaurant that was open for breakfast. Almost nothing was open except for the Best Coast Cafe. The food there was fantastic. So we filled our bellies then stopped at a Sobeys grocery store to pick up supplies for the night because Cloudy Pond Outfitters is a remote place, so we had to bring our own food with us. Like I mentioned in part two, you're now legally allowed to drive ATVs and side-by-sides on certain paved roads in the city of Cornerbrook. This really helps plan your trip when you're doing a West Coast tour like we did. As you can see, the weather here is not bad at all, yet. It's just the calm before the storm, though. Because the west coast of Newfoundland was expecting Dorian to hit it much harder than it actually did, most of the businesses were closed this day. We were lucky to find this one place open to eat. I know I've mentioned this before, but it's really cool to be able to drive an ATV or side-by-side on the city streets. So we went to the grocery store, got our supplies, backtracked through town, followed this green trail north up towards the mountains, and one of our first stops was Old Man's Pond. You going for a swim, Ellie? Yeah. I'll pass today. Come on. Yeah, wait till tomorrow. I want to get video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's a little windy, huh? You're going to tell your homie a helmet? My son, with the wind gas go out? Oh, yeah. She's windy. My roof keeps going like this, like a parachute blowing up full of wind. Yeah, yeah. We didn't stay at Old Man's Pond long. We just took a few photos, then left and headed over towards Cox's Cove. And just before you get to Cox's Cove, there's a nice little waterfall just off the trail that we stopped at, and you can see it here. Oh yeah, me, me, me too. We took a few pictures here and then went on to Cox's Cove, which was less than a mile away. We all decided to get gas here because there's no gas station between Cox's Cove and where we were going the next day. Just to keep you updated of where we are on the map, we got gas at Cox's Cove, drove to the edge of uh, the village there to get some pictures, 
Then we backtracked, stopped and took some photos at this spot, and now we're on our way to Goose Arm. Goose Arm is a really nice spot. These pictures and videos just do not do it justice. You have to get here and do it yourself and see this place in person. Right, Howie? That's okay, Howie was tired. How about you, Terrence and Dan? Okay, time to hit the trail. Usually when I go to Newfoundland, I don't have my windshield on or my back windshield. Um, I do that because it's easier to see, I find. They, they don't get so dusty and uh, hard to see out of. And I brought them because of Hurricane Dorian and the, oh, I didn't know how much rain we were going to get. And it turns out it was just kind of misting rain all day and I didn't get driving fast enough in a lot of places to blow uh, the water off the window with the rain egg. So it just kind of sat on there like you see it right now. A few times it was a little difficult to see. Because the hurricane brought all those tropical winds with it, it was actually quite warm out that day, so it was a little hot in the cab with the windshield on. So I popped it up so I could see a little better and to get some fresh air. So we were only about two miles away now from where we had to go for the day, and uh, we get to this water crossing that we crossed last year, and it was... Uh, if any of you watched the videos from last year, you'll see it was pretty deep where we're looking there right now. So uh, we're making sure we figure out the easiest way to get around where the water is shallow. I was having GoPro problems earlier in the day. It wasn't recording properly and I think it had to do with the memory card. So I wanted to make sure I got this shot recorded so I also used my cell phone at the same time. So that's why I have the, uh, the split screen right here. I figured I might as well show both shots and compare them. We finally made it to Cloudy Pond Outfitters and this place is fantastic. It's a rustic hidden gem out in the wilderness. The lodge is built on a hillside that has a gorgeous view overlooking the pond. Even though the lodge is quite remote, it has everything you need like generators for electricity, a gas stove and fridge, a wood stove, a large covered porch, running water, and it even has satellite TV, phone, and internet. 
Everyone commented how much they liked it here, and we're very much looking forward to going back and visiting again on another trip. When we stopped in Cox's Cove earlier that day, we picked up 10 pounds of cod and brought it with us to the lodge. Tony did a fantastic job cooking it for all of us. We had a huge dinner that night, played cards, and had a great time. You know, honestly, I don't know what's more fun, the, the riding during the day or the socializing during the evening. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you liked what you saw, please consider clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a video. If you think that you might want to do this trip, check out my website at www.crossingnewfoundlandbyatv.com to learn how you can do this on your own. And stay tuned for part four, where we ride from Cloudy Pond Lodge to the Loman Lodge with a few nice stops in between. Thank you.